Shashi Tarur ji, I think you have got the answer, yes? Yes, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, I, I was looking at the minister's reply with interest because he has made a number of uh, uh, points here. One is about the 12,455 megawatt potential at 46 potential tidal locations. But there, as you know, Mr. Minister, my understanding is that it's only in those places where the gap between the high tide and the low tide is at least five meters or 16 feet that you can meaningfully be able to generate electricity. And therefore, in India, there are only two places where that's true, uh, the Gulf of Cambay and the Gulf of Kutch. In fact, the Sundarbans and Kerala, where we also have high tides, don't seem to have that kind of thing. Secondly, when you're talking about the high capital cost, uh, you have not taken into account presumably the carbon credits we can get that would help offset them. Because after all, if, as you've assured your honorable colleague, we are going to fulfill the commitments of the Paris Agreement, that means we will want to, we will want to have larger quantities of green energy, clean energy, that we can show to fulfill our targets and reduce the cost. And finally, as far as R&D is concerned, please, please if the world on. is in the pre-R&D stage, why can't we give incentives from the government to our universities, including private universities, so our students can actually devote themselves please, to please. researching a subject that nobody else is doing right now in the world, so we can actually take some advantage of this. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Very good right. All of, Madam Speaker. Both of you know the things in detail. Why you are asking question, I don't know. Madam Speaker, as the Honourable Member rightly said, Kerala has about one, one and a half meter height, so we are not able to exploit the potential over there. As regards uh, research and development, certainly India would like to be at the forefront of technology development. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy does uh, look at this very seriously and we promote our entrepreneurs and in this area, particularly the uh, area, the institutes of high learning like IIT or IISC. As regards the carbon credit, it saddens me to share with this August House through you, Madam, that carbon credits was a very noble objective or noble outcome of earlier discussions on climate change. But over the last uh, few years, the developed world has almost given it a go-by. It's almost become history. And the current price of carbon credits are at an all-time low at which even if we get those carbon credits, it does not substantially affect the eventual price to the consumer. One other point which I would like to share since Kerala and West Bengal both have shown interest in this subject, we are also very concerned and compassionate about the aquatic life on the uh, coastal lines. So we have to balance all of these. India has sufficient sources of clean energy potential through solar, hydro, uh, wind, we are also developing biomass in a big way. We are looking at uh, focusing on waste to energy. So India has significant other potential where we can get now in the new regime of high volumes, totally uh, e-bidding and integrity-based purchase, where we've been able to bring down these costs significantly. We are focusing on those areas. Question number 463.